Hello beautiful Aries and welcome to your May 2021 tarot forecast with me Julie Paul. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that come onto my channel and for those of you that have been sending me well wishes after my um, surgery on my face. Thank you so much. My skin graft is healing and I truly appreciate your support and love. Thank you. All right my loves let's have a look what's going on for um, May for us. Let's bring the camera down. Down. This is good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you want to watch it for cross-watching, that's okay too. All right, let's see what's going on for my Aries. Okay, we've got the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. We're going to clarify with some other decks as well. Tell me what else is going on, please. Six of Swords. So you are coming away from that difficult time that difficult energy let's see what else is going on two cups and i want that one ten of wands all right so let's put those to one side so what we've got here guys is the eight of swords is saying here you've been stuck feeling like ah oh, why isn't things moving why aren't are things not moving forward it's been a challenging time where you have just felt really stuck in this little bubble here where you just feel you can't move forward and sometimes this is within our minds you know a belief system that i'm stuck and other times literally there is an energy that is very stuck stuck now with it being next to the king of swords which is all about clarity and focus and integrity and power he is coming in to help you here now for some of you this is an external person coming in to help you and for others it's within yourself you're just finding that clarity that just comes out of nowhere where you just decide Joe, i've had enough and i'm not waiting any longer i am moving on six of swords i am whatever was blocking me i found a way to unblock it and i am now moving on as we go into may so six of swords is putting those difficulties behind you you are moving away from turbulence and challenges and difficulties and getting into an easier space you're holding your own light there you're holding that lantern to guide your way forward in in very smooth waters you're out of the woods now Aries you're out of those difficult times and you're moving into something much better now you managed to do this to clear this space by really focusing on you the two of cups in this instance is about self-love and self-care putting yourself first and saying to yourself what is it that I really need what do I, what can I do to help myself get out of this stuck space and what I can do is is allow myself to move forward and end this struggle end this burden this heaviness you know I'm on my knees here I just can't take it anymore I've got to be able to move on and you are moving on you are moving on very clearly now let's get some clarity all right what are we moving on from let's clarify that eight of swords for a moment please what are we moving on from for my aries for may what are we moving on from okay well you just keep working on something and working on something and waiting for the results and waiting to see the 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 hard work pay off and it just hasn't it just hasn't happened and you've just been stuck in I keep tending to everything I keep working hard but it's not showing up and it hasn't been showing up and what can I do about it and somehow you just make the decision to turn it around you've had to you've had sleepless nights you've worried about it you've plotted and planned and thought about what you're going to do and you've made the decision that I am moving in a different direction now whatever this was that I was working on that I just feel so stuck in I am being able to move it forward tell me more about this please I want to know more for my Aries there you go wheel of fortune we're in a new cycle and the sun is coming out now I've got the queen of swords as well as the king of swords here so I am in my power this could well be your partner for those of you partnered up that's helped you this is a dynamic couple the king and queen of swords can cut through um, the doubts the fears the illusions just cut through and move it forward 
because now we are moving it forward in May. All right, it's been stuck for some of you for a long time. Um, now, the Wheel of Fortune is all about the new prosperity coming in, a new karmic cycle, which is lighter and brighter and more positive. May is really lifting you into that new space here, which is very independent and empowered. The Nine of Pentacles is this... Uh, she's kind of the mini empress, all right? She, she's almost there. There's only one above her, which is the empress. Um, even though we've got queens above her, for me, she's the mini empress, all right? She is very independent. She can create what she needs. She's providing for herself on every level, not just financially, but she's happy. She is focused on self-love and care, and she's got herself into a really good place. So now we are moving forward. What are we moving forward with, please, and into? Tell me more for my Aries. What are we moving forward with? Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, people helping you, support. This is also the card of somebody being the teacher, the master craftsman, being able to show other people. I've been through it and I got myself out and into a better space and you can too. This is very much allowing, allowing is the word coming through strongly here, allowing the um, collaboration of others, the support and help of others. Um, you've done it on your own and now you're in a position where you can invite that help in without feeling um, dependent that three heads are better than one um, and it gives you more options and more choices and then we're able to start moving forward. Okay, good. There's the two of wands and underneath the knight of wands with the three of cups. So the two of wands is all about the world opening up. I can see a different way forward now. I'm making different choices. I couldn't see these before, but I can see clearly now. I can see where I need to go and I'm taking action on it. Knight of wands is me taking action um, on my career, on what makes me happy, on my business um, on my passions and motivations and enthusiasm and I'm lifting into this space with the three of cups which is on top of the three of pentacles so we've got two threes here um, and the three of cups is all about being with friends and celebrating and feeling just really really happy that that connection with other people is enabling you to move forward really strongly Let's go to the Lenormand cards and see what they want to bring to the table. What else do you have for my Aries, please? Tell me more for my Aries. We've got the mouse, the owl and the tower. Now the tower in the Lenormand is not the same as in the tarot. Let's start with the mouse. This is all about looking at the detail when you can get too caught up in the detail for your own good. We go into analysis paralysis. We're going into uh, the minute detail, which really doesn't matter. When we go too much into the detail, it can become destructive. We're, we're too much in that perfectionism energy. So be careful of that, all right? Yes, you, this month you want to be looking at the bigger picture rather than the tiny minute detail. This this card here is about the little the little things can gnaw away at you and um, cause destruction and mess things up. So don't look so much at the little stuff this month. Look at the bigger stuff. Step into this energy here of the owls all right this is communication from a wise place the wisdom of the owls being able to see far into the distance it's a number three again 12 reduces to three expansion and growth i've learned i've shifted forward and i'm now being able to communicate clearly from a place of wisdom and knowledge and inner knowing it's a beautiful beautiful card and this tower in, in the Lenormand deck, the tower represents large organizations, big business, big structures, stability, security, tradition. It is 
uh, it reduces down to a number one, leadership. Some of you here are starting um, courses, training, university, colleges, um, really looking at this can build my future very strongly. For those of you in business, you can be linking in now um, with uh, other businesses that are helping you through collaboration and teamwork and working with another organization to grow. You may be selling your goods or your services to another organization. It's going to help you to grow. This is very much about leadership. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, let's see who's with you from the angelic realms. And what's the key message for my Aries, please, for May? Who's with Aries? for May and what is the main message Archangel Michael transmutation Sandalphon with planetary cycles and Raphael with empathy all right let's look at these beautiful cards together so transmutation this is the card of change and growth and death and rebirth it's about making a massive shift which we could see with these cards underneath is what you're uh, doing in May Aries and Archangel Michael um, is bringing in this beautiful crown chakra energy to help you saying trust your higher self use the I am presence you are growing and changing transmuting transforming into the new version of you and Archangel Michael is there very much with courage and strength and bravery so he's helping you go through this change, this shift into a better, stronger version of you. All right. Now, there's nothing wrong with who you are right now, but we're always growing and changing and evolving into uh, a newer version. And that's based on that love, that two of cups. Self-love um, allows you to move from what isn't serving you into what is. Now, Sandalphon's here with the planetary cycles saying everything has its time to you know to shift the sun around the earth um, the other planets around you know the solar system everything has its cycle and its time so in this transition and change that you're going through this growth spurt that you're going through allow yourself to work with the cycles with your energy knowing that things will transform and transmute in the divine timing when they're meant to give yourself that grace of time be empathetic with yourself Raphael the healer the heart chakra empathy so empathy is compassion and gentleness and understanding and care self-care so we're putting that care into the evolution that you are going through with that shift and change into a brand new version of you I love this for you, Aries. It's a big, massive month, an important month of change. And I am sending you much love and blessings. And I will see you next time. You take care, Aries. Bye-bye.